Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you hadn't already noticed, my hair is slightly lighter now. Uh, I had it done the other day and this will be the first time filming with this hair colour. So that'll be why it's slightly lighter. Um, there might be some continuity errors when my uploads go up because I have pre-filmed some videos prior to going to this colour so they may sort of be mixed in. Also I want to address the fact that I'm probably a little bit burnt on this camera. I'm not as red as I look on here, I, I promise. Um, but it has been very, very hot in the UK the past few days and I have caught the sun. But anyway, enough of that. So today I have a very exciting video. I am doing a Zaffel haul. I've been wanting to try clothes from Zaffel for a very long time. If you don't know what Zaffel is, it's basically a website where they sell loads and loads of really, really lovely clothes for really reasonable prices. So for that reason, I've been wanting to try it for a long time. I was going to place an order with Zaffel and then fortunately, and I was shocked, Zaffel actually reached out to me and asked me whether I wanted to collab with them. And obviously I said yes. So Zaffel has very kindly gifted me the clothes in this haul. I am in no way sponsored and no way sway my views on Zaffle at all. I will be as honest as I always am with my, my hauls and yeah so it's, my views will not be swayed. This is not sponsored or a paid for video. They have gifted me the items for review for you guys. So enough with my rambling. The items turned up in a bag like this. I have opened the bag, however I haven't had any of the items out. I wanted to be in a position where I could open them with you guys and you can get my first reactions. I will say again, there are two bikinis in here and I probably won't try them on on camera. However, I will let you know my opinion of them once I have tried them on. So the first item in this bag comes in this packaging. I really, really like this packaging actually. It's all individually bagged and this one just has the Zaffle logo all up. Oh. The Zaffle name on both sides. It's also in a little Ziploc bag, which is really, really handy. And in this bag is, so this is a two piece. It has shorts on it like this with kind of, a, would you call them bobbles? They're not quite pom-poms. They're sort of little bobbles around the edge and of the bottom elasticated middle and I will say these are quite thin I can see through these but my intention is, is to wear these on holiday so I don't mind them being a little bit sheer and oh my god they've got pockets in the shorts like pockets with that comes a matching top like so um, it's a v-neck top I'm not actually sure what way it goes is it tight at the front or the back um, basically, I'm not sure if it ties up at the front or the back. I'm going to have to um, look this up before I try it on. And it has a tie up at the back or the front. I haven't quite established yet. Again, this is quite sheer. But like I said, it's for holiday use. So I should be okay with that. It's also got quite floaty sleeves. I got this in a size L. If you go onto Zapple, you'll notice that their sizing tends to be small, medium, large etc um, and they give you a conversion rate so I've basically gone with what I think I should be and um, fingers crossed they fit so we'll try these on okay so what can I say about this you'll have to forgive the fact that this part of my body is a completely different color to like my arm and my chest because like I said I've been out in the sun and obviously I've caught the sun on this half of my body and I haven't had my stomach or my lower chest out so that's why it looks like this but anyway, the top, um, I quite like it. It's got very floaty sleeves, which I like. It's quite lightweight. Um, so it's quite airy when you're hot in the summer. I like that. It's quite open on my chest and it's not sitting quite right. And I think that is because I have got a slightly larger chest. So where it should be sort of, forgive me, where it should be kind of laying flat like that. It's not, my chest is pulling it apart like this. Thankfully, there is this bar in the middle which is saving my modesty and I will give the top that. I don't think it looks terrible, I do quite like it. I'm talking 100 miles an hour right now. Yeah, I don't think it's terrible. It's got a lot of room here, this is nice. It's comfortable, forgive my back fat here. <laughs> it's comfortable, there's a lot of moving room in here other than my boobs. 
um, but that's just me. I wouldn't not wear it for that reason. That is just a problem I have with a lot of clothing is it just doesn't fit here. And um, the shorts, the waistband is comfortable. They're a good length. Um, I probably can't even show you the length of them, but basically my bum is well and truly covered. They're coming down here. Um, again, they feel comfortable. Considering how sheer I thought it was, um, I don't feel like I'm giving anything away. You can't really see anything. The shorts, the legs are kind of tighter than I thought they were going to be. They're by no means tight. They're just tighter than I thought they were going to be. But that might just be because I've got thicker thighs. That could always be that. I would wear this. I'd probably wear it on holiday more than anything because my midriff is out. I don't really like exposing my midriff in the UK. So, yeah. I don't think this is bad at all. I quite like this. Next up, I think this is going to be a swimsuit. Or a bikini. I don't, I don't really remember. Again, it comes in this little Ziploc bag. I mean, this one's smaller. They are... This is actually the cutest packaging that I've seen from a clothing company. Normally it's just the plastic bags that you have to rip open and then you just can't reseal again. Um, so these are really, really handy. So in here, yes, this is a swimsuit or a bikini even. This is a bikini. So it has a white top like so. And it ties up in the middle. So it's got a little gap in between. It has got padded cups in it. However, I will say the padded cups are quite small in relation to this cup size here. So I'm not sure how that will sit on my body. If need be, can can you take these out? I'm not sure how you get the cups out. Sometimes you can remove them. I'm not sure you can remove them on this top. It feels like quite a good material. It's very, very soft. It doesn't look like it should be too sheer with the cups in. Um, however, they are moving into the armhole as I speak. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. So that is the top and then it comes with contrasting khaki green knickers which are stuck together with the hygiene seal yep contrasting khaki green knickers which are high waisted which I wanted to try these out from Zappel because obviously when you're a little bit more self conscious on holiday having high waisted knickers it gives you that little bit more support and a little bit more coverage they don't seem too high cut around the leg, so that should be okay. And they have a ruched down the middle. I have a feeling this is going to go up your bum. But it might be okay. We might be able to work with this. This I got in a large again. Um, I'm hoping it fits. It looks a little wide on my waist. I have big hips, but I have a smaller waist. So hopefully this fits. But this bikini, I am shook. Like, this is so good. Um... When I first put it on, I didn't think that there was much support in the bikini because I thought this was going to lift straight up. Fortunately, as soon as I tied this little bit up, it was not going to ping straight up again, which is amazing. It feels really nice. It's super soft. I don't think this would go see through in the water. I will, however, say the cup, the, um, you can see it on the camera here, actually. The pads they put in this bikini, just the pads. Look at that. Like, what is that? That, that's... <laughs> It's a fraction of the size of the cup. It's also circular and you can see it. And it's got a lump in the middle of it. Like, what is that? That's not my nipple, what is that? I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'm probably going to find a way of taking them out because I don't particularly want people thinking that I've got oddly shaped boobs. But other than that, it's a really nice top. It's really comfortable. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. I love the style of it. And the knickers. The knickers are an absolute godsend. I'm not even lying. Like they're coming up at just the right point. So it's hiding this problem area that I have and probably numerous other people have. It's holding me in. It's cutting me off at a nice place. So I'm just showing this bit of me, which I don't particularly mind. Luckily, they're not like super high rise crutch area, which I'm not particularly keen on. That little ruche bit at the back. I thought it was going to go up your bum. It sits quite nicely and it actually gives your peach a little bit of shape. I'm completely in love with this swimsuit. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I love this. I'm 100% going to be ordering more Zaffle swimwear if it's anything like this. Next up is another one in these Ziploc bags. I, I honestly, I can't get enough of these bags. So I'm pretty sure this is another two-piece outfit. Yes, it is. This one is absolutely adorable. This is elephant print. How cute is that? Like, elephant with little patterns on them. 
It's got quite long shorts on them. I, I'm liking how long these shorts are because they're, give, they're gonna give you good bum coverage. I like shorts that give you good bum coverage. And um, they are again a little sheer, I will say that, but like, it is a white material. White materials are always gonna be more sheer. Um, again, on holiday you can get away with that a little more. Either wear nude underwear or white underwear and you should be okay. Again, I think I got this in a large. I think, and this waist looks a little, a little wide, but I mean, if need be, I can pull it down more onto my hips. That also comes with a matching top, which isn't done up, so it's gonna be very, very difficult to show you like this. The tires at the front, and again, the same patterns, but the little frills around the arms this time, it's kind of a vest top material, and it should be, it should be cropped. But again, this is, is quite sheer. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, if you can see my hand through that, but I mean, it is quite sheer. Not to the point where I can see through this. I can see the light and I can't see the camera. So it's not that sheer, but I don't know if I feel comfortable wearing this in the UK, but I might change your mind once I try it on. I'm pretty sure L on their website translates as a size 12. That's why I bought it. However, I haven't double checked and you do need to make sure on Zaffle that you double check all the sizing because they differ. You might be an L on one item, but you might be an XL or a medium on another. So you just need to make sure you keep checking them because they do differ. I picked up that tip from someone else that I know that's ordered from there and I just assumed I'd be the same across all items and that's not the case. Just make sure you double check. So this is the elephant print two piece. I was wrong, okay. Um, so the shorts aren't big on me. I mean, they're a little big on the waistband like I thought they were going to be. It fits everywhere else. Again, they're covering enough bum to be comfortable. It's way past my bum. And then it also has this frilly bit on the bottom, which gives you that extra little bit of coverage. They're comfortable, they're very comfortable. The top, I don't think it's see-through. It might be a little bit see-through. Um, I can't really tell the top okay um i love this i'm just not sure how secure i feel in this so basically it obviously is an open top that you tie together here and um, there's not a lot of fabric in between here and here because like i said i haven't got the smallest of chest and smaller chest would look really nice in this because you can tie it a little bit closer mine is struggling my problem here is that <laughs> any moment I could fall out of this. I could potentially wear this with like a bikini top underneath it and wear it like that. That could work. Um, I can't particularly wear like a strapless stick on bra because you'd see it. I'm thinking I'd have to wear it like with a pretty bra or something underneath it. Actually, while I was trying this on, I bent down and accidentally pulled this and the whole thing came out open. It's a little wide, but I think it's really, really pretty. The whole thing together, I think is really pretty. It feels nice, it's a nice material. It fits nicely other than the potential for my boobs to come flop, like flopping out of this top. I love the print because I love elephants. So this, this print is just really, really nice. I think it's really pretty. Um, I just might wear a bikini top with this. The only problem is this, this, I don't think my shoulders are very wide, so it's not staying up very well. I'm pretty sure I got this in L. I don't think it goes any bigger than that, unfortunately. So if your chest is any bigger than mine, uh, this might not be for you because even I'm struggling with this, but wow, my shoulder looks red on that camera. Ooh. The next item is in this little jiffy bag that I haven't actually opened yet. Let's get into this. I probably should have opened this beforehand. Okay, so this is jewellery. I wanted to try something from their jewellery range. So I can't remember what this is. I've got a feeling it's a necklace, but it comes in this see-through pouch. It's silver, <laughs> that's as much as I can tell you at the moment. It's very tangled at the moment. It's very, very tangled. I've got a feeling this is like a multi-chain necklace, but it's really tangled up. So you're gonna have to give me a minute. Okay, so I was correct in thinking this is a multi-layer necklace. It is simply a silver chain with three different necklaces on it. The first of which is this one. I'm not really sure how to describe the pattern on this one. It's obviously circular and then it has detail in the middle. The middle bit has, are they diamante? 
a chain with small diamante glass I beads on it i want to say i'm really rubbish at describing things like that but that is what that is and then it ends with this sort of tooth like i don't know what you'd call this either moon shaped object at the end i really really like multi-layered necklaces like you think they give a plain top or a wide open neck top a bit of detail a bit of something to look at so i really like this it's quite lightweight but it was really cheap. Their jewellery on there is so, so cheap and affordable. And like I was saying in previous videos, I love, love cheap jewellery to take away on holiday because I don't want to take expensive jewellery away in case I break it or lose it, etc. Like I said before. So this is ideal. And like I said, I'm really, really liking these layered necklaces. This little bag is slightly different. I don't think it's got the Zaffle writing on it. I think it is literally just a plain Ziploc. But a Ziploc is better than a plastic bag at the end of the day, isn't it? So, this one, I decided to give one of their tops a go. I've got one of them silica gel items just fall out the bottom. I decided to give one of their best tops a go because I obviously haven't ordered any separate tops in this haul. So, I thought I'd give a top a go. It's just like a vest halter neck type top. Like I said, absolutely brilliant at describing items. And it's slightly cropped with a frill lace hem on the bottom of it. Again, quite sheer because it is a white chiffon material. It feels okay. I mean, this probably feels the worst material out of everything I pulled out of the, out of the bag. It doesn't feel horrendous by any means. It's just a little rougher material than the rest of it but i think i do like vest tops like this with jeans in the summer yeah i think that's okay i i think yeah i like that i will say however there is some mark on the inside of one strap you won't see it because it is going to go on the inside of your your arm but that black mark there probably not meant to be there and there is a bit of fraying but it is on the inside of the strap so hopefully you won't see it i have noticed however i did get this in an xl i don't this might be what i mean by the sizing was slightly different on some items and so i've got an xl in this it does look quite wide that is the width of it and i have got a large chest but i'm not sure i'm that wide i don't mind baggy tops we can we might be able to work with this it looks quite big maybe i should have got the large Although saying that, when I get it on, it might not be big at all, and I might be bigger than I think. Forgive the fact that I've got it on with, like, brightly coloured shorts I tried on earlier. It's all I had to hand. Mm. I'm not sure about this top. It doesn't feel awful on the skin. It's just a little rougher than some other tops that I'm used to. I like the way it fits here. I love this hem. I think this is really pretty. If you had it wear it with a pair of denim shorts or denim jeans i think it would look really really nice especially if you have a tan in the summer i quite like the way it so kind of stands away from your body so it's not gonna stick to anything you don't like i will however say that it is very big here like i thought it was going to be it is massive here and i haven't got like a small chest so this is quite wide i don't think i could get away with wearing this this is an xl i'm not sure if i ordered an xl or if it was just a mistake but I would definitely say I would need a at least a size smaller in this. You don't want it tight, but you don't want it like this. This is too big. Um, but I don't think... I think if it was in a smaller top, I'd quite like it. It is a little creased, but I think that's probably because of transit and where it's come from. It's a nice top. It just, unfortunately, doesn't fit me. And the last item in this bag is another bikini. This one is not in a Ziploc bag. This is one of them, I don't know what you'd call that, pressed together plastic bags. Kind of like a sandwich bag is how I want to describe it. So it's not the same packaging as the rest of it. It's not bad. It's still resealable, unlike other brands that we've talked about before. This is a two-piece bikini. This one is white with floral print all over it. I think this is really pretty, actually. It's got molded cups in it they have got the cups in there that i'm not sure how again they're weird it's probably not gonna show up they are circular they are not triangle shaped like the boob area is it is circular so i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this through here but if it's a problem 
these ones are removable so I think we can just take them out if it's going to look kind of weird. I like this. I like triangular bikinis, but for me, I need this middle bit because otherwise they're kind of bunched together and your boobs look quite far apart. So having it moulded together like this is one of my favourite bikini types. It then has adjustable ships. <laughs> It then has adjustable straps, which is always a win in my eyes because not everyone's arms and shoulder width is the same, so that's very, very handy. And the back, kind of a confusing closure. There's no clasp, it is a tie-up. So it laces up down the back and then you tie it into a bow. I've got a feeling the way you'd get into this is to untie the bow, loosen it all up and then slip it over your head and then tie it tighter again. It could be a bit of a mission <laughs> getting into this. But we're going to try. And then that comes paired with these bikini bottoms, which are high-waisted again, and again, tie up around the side, and, tie, and you tie in a bow at the end. These look quite high-rise for me. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel with a lot of um, your bits on show. It's quite narrow and quite high. It might be okay. I don't really know how much that's going to show. Again, it laces up. This does look quite narrow. This is an L, but I think because this is adjustable, you can make some more room in it because you sort of loose them up, them up around your hip. So we'll see how it fits. Well, that took me like a million years to get into this, like so long because of all the lace up. I couldn't work it out. I couldn't open it up. It took me forever. I probably should have got an XL in this, but I don't think it went to an XL when I went to order it. And that's probably why I didn't get this, but the top, I really, really like the pattern of this. It's very, very pretty. Um, however, this top's just a little bit too small for me. It's not giving me the room that I need in it. And <laughs> the bottoms are extremely small, like extremely small. I can feel it cutting into my bum. It's literally cutting my bum cheeks in half. Um, I wouldn't feel comfortable going out with this. And also the lattice bit on the side, I feel like um, I'm kind of squidging out of in between the lattices, so I probably wouldn't feel comfortable with this on holiday. Um, I think it's really, really pretty, but I just don't think it suits my body shape. Um, again, I quite like how it is high-rise knickers, because obviously it should make you feel a little bit more comfortable. However, because of the size this is in, it's just not doing anything to me. It's kind of cutting me in all the wrong places. It's kind of suffocating me because it is that much too small for me. Um, I do think it's a lovely bikini, it feels lovely. Again, the pads are kind of a weird shape in the bikini, but these ones are 100% removable because I checked. Um, but I probably need a different size to this, so for that reason, I can't wear this on holiday. I just do think it is very, very lovely. I probably just should have got a size up. Plus, my, my God, I look really red here where I had that top on. I swear to God, I'm not as burnt as I look. It looks worse than this camera. So that was everything that I got from Zaffle. Uh, like I said, I really like all the items that I got from this haul. Unfortunately, a few items don't fit. Some are too big, some are too small, like, like you will have seen. But other than that, I do think the quality of clothing you get for the price you pay is insane. And that is just, that's my own opinion. Like I said, I've been very, very honest throughout this, this haul because it is down to my own opinion. I have not been false with anything that I've said. I've given my true honest opinion with every piece of clothing. Just be careful with the sizing. Make sure you double check when you do come to order anything. I have been meaning to order more stuff from Zephyr and now that I've tried this, I am 100% going to be putting a bigger order in for more items. I'm just going to be very careful with the sizes I select. The good thing about Zephyr as well is that people write reviews about the items on there. You can see people's pictures of them wearing the clothes. So that's really helpful because that can help you make a decision on what you actually want to buy. I'll link all the items that I've tried on in the description box below, should you be interested in any of them. I'll also put next to it the size I ordered them in, just for your reference. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, hit that thumbs up button, just so I know what you enjoy watching, as always. And if you feel like it, hit that subscribe button, because I'd love to have you join me. Hopefully, I will see you all next time.